the Kentucky school at the center of that viral video appearing to show students taunting a Native American elder. That school has called off classes today. The local paper citing security concerns. It comes as students involved in the incident are speaking out, and President Trump is also speaking out about it. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez has been following the story there in Kentucky. He's there with the very latest. Uh, Gabe, what are students, uh, what are they saying about all of this there? Oh, hi, Craig. Good morning. Well, before I get to the students' response, I want to show you where I am right now. We're outside the diocese here in Covington, Kentucky, and there is a small demonstration going on right now by uh, members of the American Indian Movement of, uh, uh, of Kentucky and uh, Indiana and Ohio are also here. Several uh, groups as well, about two dozen or so, and also onlookers. Uh, some people here that support the students as well. Now, Craig, as you mentioned, as we've been reporting, uh, the story has really evolved over the last several days after that initial video came out. Out, uh, that seemed to show uh, these students, uh, one of them in particular, in a face to face confrontation with that Native American elder. Now, that student released a statement saying that he, uh, that group was taunted uh, by a, a group of African American protesters that were there, known as the Hebrew is Israelites. And they say that they were merely performing those school chants in response to that. And that's when the Native American elder came into the middle of it. Now, here um, uh, we, we heard from one of those students whose parents didn't want us to show his face. Take a listen at how he described the situation. There was three Native American people there. One of them was jumping up and down, so our guys start jumping up and down, clapping, we're dancing with him. Like, I just don't see how we were, I mean, they were just going along with what they thought was fun. Now, this has turned into an extremely politically charged debate. Of course, a president weighing in overnight and this morning. Covington Catholic High School is closed today. Uh, a voicemail obtained from the principal by our affiliate, WLWT, also saying that it was closed because of security concerns, even though many schools in the area were closed because of inclement weather. But again, this is underway right now, this small demonstration. And we've spoken with people on both sides, both uh, supporters of the students and those who thought that they were in the wrong, correct? All right, Gabe Gutierrez there in Kentucky. Gabe, thank you. As Gabe just mentioned, President Trump um, fired off two tweets about the controversy, the most recent being this morning. Nick Sandman and the students of Covington have become symbols of fake news and how evil it can be. They've captivated the attention of the world, and I know they will use it for the good, maybe even to bring people together. It started off unpleasant, but can end in a dream. Um, again, that tweet coming from the president. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.